Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the purchases we made down in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico. So, we didn't buy a whole lot of really anything. I just want to see how the border crossings were done, see how, how the town looked, and see what deals that could be had. And overall, I was very pleased with the deals, so I'm going to start and show you just some of the deals. Uh, first thing we got is these knockoff Ray-Ban sunglasses. Those were $6, they're metal, they're, any, they're nicer than anything you're gonna get in the States or at a flea market in the United States. So I'm very pleased with the sunglasses. That's number, and then I got a nice leather belt. This leather belt was in American money, $3. Again, probably nicer than anything for $3 you're gonna get in the United States. Okay. Got these Oakley sunglasses, knockoffs, amazing case. Very, very nice, I'm gonna set them down. I actually gotta tell you the Ray-Bans are better quality, but these Oakley sunglasses, US dollars were $20 with the amazing case. Can't complain. Keeps me from scratching my real Oakleys. The case is amazing. Then we got these Ray-Bans. The Ray-Bans, the Ray-Bans are very nice. They're an amazing case. Uh, American, uh, American money, I would say those were Let's just say $20. They might have been $18, but 20 bucks for the Ray-Bans. Very nice. I mean, amazing quality. Clarity, amazing. Can't, in a wooden case. Okay. Then I got some decongestant uh, Perquet. American money, that was a couple of dollars. Uh, I want to say $4 and I want to say that was not such a good deal. It didn't really do much for me. A super, super deal was this Retin-A, US dollars. That tube of Retin-A prescription was $3. Can't beat that. Then I bought this Boston Red Sox replica jersey, no numbers, just a sewn on letters in the front. Uh, in US dollars, this was $12, I'm gonna show it to you. It's red, short sleeve, with uh, Red Sox embroidered across the front. It's like a mesh material, mesh cotton, no complaints, Hancho in Mexico, but I can't complain, it was roughly $10, $12. Nothing on the back, no numbers, nothing else. So you got the Red Sox jersey. Got, not sure about these, these were Cohiba cigars, the kind that you could get 20 years ago, they were about 18 to $20 uh, years and years ago. Uh, I wanna say 20 years ago for this Cohiba. If it's real, I still haven't validated the, uh, uh, if it's real or not. It's, especially in Mexico, they're noted for putting the fake stickers on and they're noted for, um, you know, selling Cuban cigars. They're actually Mexican cigars. Uh, the cap, at the end of the cigar does not look real to me. I bought real Cohibas before and they are every bit of $20 American money at a resort. This was a border town. I bought them in Canada across the border, but these were $5, $5 Cuban cigar. So I think that was probably a pretty good deal if it's real. I can't complain because I bought real ones in Cuba that were actually had slight defects and they were running about $5 about 12 years ago. So I'm happy with the Cohiba cigars if they're real. And I bought them at a reputable place. 
And last but not least, I bought this microphone, uh, American Money. It was $15. Not sure anything about it. I'm going to show it to you because I'm talking from it. It has music. It has volume controls. It has an echo. It plays all types of things. But I thought for $15, I would give the uh, microphone a, ch a chance. You know, so we'll see. So I'm going to talk through the microphone, and maybe that's better. So I hope you'll enjoy it. The video. These are the things that we purchased. Didn't spend a whole lot of money at all. So if you enjoyed the channel, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and we'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks for watching.